All right, do you OTF if you do out the front, that is, auto. If you do, this knife video is for you. This is the TACCOM Knives Grunt. Uh, and you can see already, this is a pretty interesting one, guys. You have found the Knives Fast channel. If you are new here, subscribe, hit that notification bell, stick around, like, comment, and all that stuff. Uh, definitely join a live stream, stream on Monday nights, uh, KF Live, 7.45 p.m. Eastern. And guys, uh, stick around and check out the Instagram as well, at Knives Fast. All right, so this is the TACCOM Knives. Uh, there you go, TACCOM.com uh, Grunt. And it comes in this really cool hard case. And, um, you know, some of you are already saying, I thought I saw this knife fail on some on, on your live stream. And to that I would say, be patient, we will talk about that. But the knife, as you can see, is fine. Uh, so, really, really cool. Uh, TACCOM is really stepping up their game and they're getting best tech to do their work. You do have a reversible clip uh, with a great um, uh, uh, filler plate there. Uh, guys, you unfortunately, in my world, have a seatbelt cutter. Now, if you're a first responder, you should you should like this knife. Uh, but for me, not so much. I'm not a first responder. Uh, you do have a lanyard uh, hole in the back of the knife. It is aluminum, and you have this great texturing. This is fantastic. And then you have a chamfer here. Chamfer, chamfer. Uh, this thing is made to feel comfortable in the hand, except, and we'll talk about that in a minute. You can see your slot is on the side. Uh, this takes apart with these six screws, trust me. Uh, and uh, you have a thin and a uh, plate and then everything sits down in the other half or, or two thirds, I guess you should say. Um, good clip, good in and out of the pocket, carries uh, very nicely. I had no problems with the carrying uh, very, very well. Um, and again, it is reversible. Now you have a drop point, guys. Uh, there you go, another EDC, uh, or I think very capable uh, choice for uh, an OTF. And let me get some of this goo off the blade I was cutting earlier. Uh, this is a gorgeous knife, and it is M390. Uh, you do have a good sharpening choil there. Hold on, I gotta wipe that better. I can't stand looking at a knife that's all gooed up. All right, here we go. I think we're good. Um, but you can see, very nice shape blade. Now, action-wise, you can see good response. You still have a decent amount of travel, which is great. You can see there for safety purposes, that is fine with me. Uh, handle's always going to be a little bit bigger, obviously. But what they did here with the chamfering was absolutely brilliant. Now, let's talk about the cord cutter, guys. You can see right there... The corner of that cord cutter comes down into my palm. Now, can I be up here further? Sure I can. It's not comfortable for me. To get comfortable on this knife, I have to be like this. And you can see the corner of that cord cutter comes right down into my into my palm. It is not super comfortable. Clip isn't bad, um, but that one thing you can see kind of gives me a little red spot there. Uh, now, they do have a Tacom Bulldog, which is this uh, more like this size without the cord cutter uh, or the, the seatbelt cutter, I guess you should call it. Um, I think I would prefer that. Now, on my live stream, this guy just stopped functioning and the slide was just moving very easily. What I found out when I went to, I talked to the owner and when I went to open this, I found out these screws were very loose. Um, they came out really, really easily. And I think what happened was the knife was loose enough where the blade just jumped the track. So literally it was putting it back together and we were golden. Um, I tried everything and it didn't work. So I had to resort uh, to doing that. So uh, something to keep in mind, if they don't use Loctite, I think guys, you should use Loctite. If, if uh, they, and, and if you buy one, uh, you should take it apart yourself and put Loctite on these screws. I have not. It's going to one more reviewer. I thought I would just leave it alone. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. But a really cool knife uh, overall. Now, we are, you know, it's the Nice Fast channel. So we're, of course, going to do our regular comparisons. But we're going to do, oh, by the way, let us I almost forgot a couple of important things. A um, little bit of rattle. 
but not a lot. Uh, the blade moves, but slightly. It's not a lot. It's locked up well. It's not a problem. All right. So uh, we'll do our regular comparisons, but we will have a special comparison momentarily. There is your Ontario Rat 1. So it's about the same length as the Rat 1 and a bigger than the Rat 2. And you got like three drop points here. So how cool is that? Uh, I love a drop point blade. Now, how does it cut uh, with this M390 steel? Very nicely, thank you. Uh, if Casey doesn't put it in the sharpening choil, uh, very, very nice. You can see nice clean cuts, no problem there. Uh, I have cardboard all over the place now. Uh, so there we go. So, um, all right, let's go through the specs real quick and the price. Now, this guy is $229. Um, and let's see, there's a drop point and a sheep's foot. The drop point is in stock and the sheep's foot is in stock. And they are $229.95, so $230. Um, made in China, of course, uh, aluminum alloy, uh, for the button material clip is stainless steel blade finishes, uh, black wash of, I mean, excuse me, stone wash. Of course, the handle material is black wash or black coating. Holy mackerel. I'm having a hard time. Uh, M390 4.4 ounces, 59 to 61 on the hardness of the M390, uh, 0.12 on the blade thickness as far as stock 8.26 inches overall three inch blade length and a 5.19 inch handle and a lot of that extra handle is that seat belt cutter okay um and again that's a pretty good price now uh let's show our our friendly neighborhood comparison now this is the only other auto uh otf i have uh, oh, by the way this is an automatic knife uh, make sure, uh, you know, before you buy an auto that it's legal in your state. Uh, it is an out-the-front auto, and so is this. Now, this is the Kershaw Livewire, and I'm going to line them up blade tip to blade tip, and you can see they would be fairly similar without the um, the, the uh, cutter, but actually still this guy, um, I mean, excuse me, the Livewire would be, if you if you went right here, the Livewire would still be a little bit longer. Now, chamfering wise you can see you also have some really excellent chamfering this guy's got a spear point blade um and this guy is in magna cut now the bigger difference here is this one is made in the u.s um and this one is made in china and so this one is 244 dollars and this one is 230 dollars so the kershaw is a little more but it's made in u.s in the u.s by u.s workers um and i would say um, you know, they're quality wise, they're both on about the same level. Uh, the Kershaw may manipulate just a little bit simpler. Um, and this one is also a little bit chunkier in the hand. So it kind of depends on, on what you like. Now they make several different variations of the Kershaw. I think, uh, this in drop point and sheep's foot are the only two options, uh, that I've seen for the grunt. So what do you guys think of uh, the grunt? Um, and which one would you prefer between those two since I showed uh, that one? Um, and this one I think is more targeted towards first responders. It's a bigger, chunkier, it's got heavy, heavy grippage here. And, um, you know, definitely got that seatbelt cutter as well. So what do you guys think? Uh, let me know down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, guys. And I thank so much Lefty uh, for sharing this one and TACCOM for sending it to the group. And guys, thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.